Hi Libra, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by M for the week starting 25th of May 2020. Okay, I'm cleaning my glasses, I'm just now gonna get these cards. All right, so we're gonna do seven cards, <coughs> one for each day of this week. And we'll start just now because cards are pretty shuffled and ready. Libra, 25th of May, Monday. Two of Pentacles. Tuesday. Knight of Cups. Wednesday. Five of Swords. of wands Thursday and then Friday we have a four of pentacles the high priestess Saturday and Sunday seven of swords seven of cups your influencing energy some, something was promising big opportunities here, massive options on your side, almost unbelievable. This seven of cups, almost unbelievable. What is down there on your mind? It is what's on your mind, what you feel like that's opportunity. What if, what if? It is a daydreaming mostly. There's not reality with this seven of cups. of pentacles paired with nine of pentacles now Tuesday knight of cups paired with a sun card five of swords Wednesday paired with a star ten of wands paired with ace of coins Now, uh, four of pentacles paired with page of cups on Friday, so Saturday now. The high priestess paired with a nine of rods and seven of swords on Sunday paired with the emperor. Right. We have the hermit here. Trying to be wise and making a right choice in here. What is among all of these opportunities, something that is possibilities actually, that you actually find for yourself the right one. Something that is doable, that is possible, that is real. Because it's a plenty in here that is on your mind, but it's not doable. But with Hermit, as I said, you're trying to be wise with these options. That is the energies that you're coming into this week, trying to make the choice, wide, wise choice. Two of Pentacles on Monday with Nine of Coins. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is your energy. It's kind of, you did achieve a sort of success. You do have something on Monday that you can call your success and you're enjoying it. That is the moment. Like with nine of coins, we always talk your hard work and achieving something, finishing it, putting dot on it, getting money for your work, um, um, passing exams, that sort of things with nine of coins, enjoying the moment of success. Now, with two of pentacles in your environment, it seems to me that you're trying now to use that success for something uh, um, to further up your success into another endeavor, into something else, but now you are indecisive which way to go. I think that is your Monday. You do have success, you do have this foundation that you can build on, but you're kind of uncertain which way would you go. You know, it is ongoing two things. With two of pentacles, these are two tangible things that are ongoing, two same jobs, two people, but they are not... They are not um, either compatible, they, they cannot go together, or uh, 
it's impossible for you to do these two jobs same time, at least not for a long time. That's what I'm saying, because two of pentacles, it's usually energy very short-lived. Right, your Tuesday seems much better. Now, we have Knight of Cups and the Sun. All very beautiful. This is a light, very light energy on Tuesday. You're feeling very optimistic in here. Look, I kind of see your energies Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm kind of rushing <laughs> in front of myself. Um, you yourself, within yourself, you are very optimistic and you've got beautiful energy. For some reason, you see massive opportunities, massive things that comes your way. Yet, your environment is still kind of not ready. It is not all there yet. With uh, 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 mm, Knight of Cups, with Knight of Cups, there's action. It's always every night uh, says this is action into something. Some news is coming your way that feels good. Somebody is. Um, it could be that comes from the person who's maybe artistic. As I said, this is kind of light energy. You with the song card, you cannot make mistake with this one. You might think about this, your baby project that you have. Uh, and news is coming your way about it. That makes you, it makes you feel good, makes you very happy. Whatever news that you receive here on Tuesday, it will make you happy. It will say something good is coming your way. And you are seeing it. It's not right there. With the sun card, we always say sun will shine on you. But at this point, that project or idea or person that you meet, it's... Uh, Something that lightens your day. It's kind of bring this brings this optimistic feeling, brings happiness, and that is enough for the day. Now, as I said, you, you are full of these beautiful energies. Hope, the star, hope, um, 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 optimism. Believing in the bright future again, you see, of course, after the sun card, you have the star, and then after that, you have the coins. Confirmation after confirmation about happiness, about bright future, about hopes, things that should fulfill your hopes and dreams. That is all the time energies within you. Now, your environment again, now from this Knight of Cups, which is, as I said, some good news. Now, Five of Swords, in here, it's very unpleasant. Five of Swords is unpleasant energy. It, we can divide this energy in three, three, uh, three, on three parts. We see this front man who looks as a winner. But it's kind of, look at, he's not happy one. He, he has this, this mean face. And another two down there, another looking totally as a loser. And third one who's watching the situation. You know, when people are measuring their wealth or qualities or uh, success by another's um, failures or uh, um, bad luck, if somebody has bad luck, kind of success of this person looks a bit bigger. It's unpleasant conversation, um, could be even fights. This is also a fight. Being mean towards another or somebody is mean towards you, uh, uh, gossiping back uh, behind the back of somebody. Somebody is talking mean about you behind your back as well. You know, these people are turning back that side. All that kind of unpleasant words, conversation, gossips, fights as well. Now, after this star, we do have this uh, Ace of Coins. Now, as I said, I'm kind of a flowing. This energy is flowing really beautifully from uh, this first initial success. Not even small success, Nine of Pentacles. It's not small success. That's on Monday that you have. And then you have Sun. And then you have Star. And now you have Confirmation. This is Ace of Coins. This is kind of potential. Now, you see reality into this. You can make some money, you can be prosperous in here. But look at your environment. It's a lot of, again, opportunities, lots of ideas, 
there of all of these ideas that you have in your mind or you're doing many things same time or you're dealing with many people or you have a lot of chores that you have to complete but it seems to me you are completing this whatever your burden is because I see you do have maybe some relate uh, this this relationship with your with the people in your surrounding maybe uh, whether your business partner, your love partner, your, uh, somebody in your career, in your business, anywhere, anywhere, work environment, private life, doesn't matter, very unpleasant energies on Wednesday. Perhaps maybe that was your burden or you just had lots to do, just lots to do. For, for quite a while, that we said with the Ten of Wands, this is not from yesterday, it is, it's a lasting energy, it is for, you, you're carrying this burden for quite some time, and it seems that on Thursday, that you're dropping this load, and you're coming out with one clear idea that says, now this one, that one, is perfect for you. I will relate that what happened on that ideas that what happened on Thursday to your influencing energy. Very, very similar. When you have this hermit and plenty of these possibilities, that is just possibilities that you dream about, perhaps. Even some of these are doable, some of these are realistic, some are totally in your mind. Uh, uh, fairy tales and stuff like that with Seven of Cups. Everything is there. But now, as I said, I'm relating this Thursday to this influencing energy when everything becomes real. These opportunities, these ideas are real. This isn't your imagination. This is a real deal. You can choose from these things if it's your option, if these are your options. If it's hard work, you're going to drop this load and finish and choose to build something on it. That's what you completed, as I said, from that side, from Monday. You are completing something. You're enjoying your... You've got this money, you've got these rewards, or um, something is there, your success is there, and you can't make a choice. You, make, you cannot make decision on Monday. Day is coming Thursday, and you make decisions. You are making decision. There is one pentacle. You know exactly what is for you the most prosperous, the best idea to move forward with. That's your Thursday. Now Friday we have this <coughs> page of pen page of cups, pardon me, and four of pentacles. Four of pentacles, it's collecting everything that is yours, that you can call mine and it, is, it does have some value. What you have for yourself, for whatever you're going to do with it now, paying the bills, perhaps, or maybe invest into something, doesn't matter. you just kind of taking stock of what do I have, everything that I have right now that I can move on with. As I said, it could be that you just need it to see can you really pay all your bills at this point on Friday. <laughs> or... Maybe we talk some investment or so. With a page of cups, it's kind of mixed emotion in here. <laughs> you might be happy in one hand with four of pentacles. We always have this mixed, mixed emotion. Happy to have enough, but not happy that there's no extra that we would use also <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> we have use for that extra as well. That kind of energy on Friday. Now, Saturday with the High Priestess and Nine of Rods. Nine of Rods, uh, we would say that you achieved already something there. You've done a lot. Not achieved. You've done a lot. It is work in here. Lots of ideas that you have, things that you put together that can stand as achievement or as a base for something else, as foundation for uh, further growth. But it's not done yet with the Nine of Rods. And we would always say, with this one, you won't give up. Because it's a lot that you have to defend. Idea, situation, work, anything. This nuisance could happen that you have to repeat the job. It could be that there's many 
uh, uh, small different things that you've got in here, lots of chores, lots of small things that you have to put together in order to make one thing, one situation done, uh, uh, or dealing with many people with different ideas also in here and you're just about to put everything together something goes wrong and you have to you know redo or uh, um, put an extra effort in order to complete it defensive very defensive always amount of fear with every nine card will i manage you might need some time for yourself we would say with this energy of a high priestess, there's wealth, there's knowledge, there's understanding. But in a way where there's no brag about it, there's no show off. You know, so I think that you just need time for yourself. On Saturday, you're understanding that you need time. You need to see within yourself what is really, what is real. You are kind of searching here to find within what is it there for you how do you proceed from this side or you just but you need some time with high priestess we always says you will need some time to get there with time with time you'll get there you'll achieve this you'll manage just carry on you are tired uh, um, you're losing hope in here in the, with this energy but just carry on carry on and you will achieve, you will be there. There is abundance, there is wealth, there is knowledge, everything with high priestess, with time, with hard work. Now, your Sunday, we have seven of swords and the emperor. The emperor is your energy and I like it. You know, that is your understanding that you are master of your destiny. You can do for yourself, with yourself, whatever you want. You know, the seven of, uh, um, seven of Swords, it tells me you just don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about your big plans. You don't want to talk about yourself in general. What is that you want to do? Maybe related to that what you contemplated on a Saturday. Something is this week that comes to your mind. We do have Hermit, nonetheless, even as an influencing energy in here. Things are going well, you've got big plans, you're very optimistic, particularly this first part of, of this month. And the rest of, the, of this month, of this week, and the rest of the days, you are feeling good. You're kind of very confident with yourself, you see your hopes, you've got your hopes, you see doability, uh, you're not naive in here. You know, you're not dream daydreaming here. You're even putting structure into something very important. You just don't want to advertise things. You see, you are not advertising your wealth, your projects, your ideas, um, what is on your mind, how you're going to proceed, what you're doing, how much you earn. You're not advertising there. But you are putting structure for your new life. And this is very major. Maybe, maybe something um, is changing for in a rapid way. In a big way, something is, you know, goes bigger, goes expansive. This is Emperor, the major one. These are, you're pushing your boundaries, you're uh, putting new structure, new skeleton into your life. And you are authority in here. As I said, you're not going to advertise, you're gonna, not going to talk about it. And it's about almost all that I told you about every day of this week. Anyway, enjoy it, Libra.